that God is looking for a breath of fresh air. God is looking for a breath of fresh air in his singers and his musicians, that the wind of God's spirit is carried in them. And that's what it means to be a true worshipper. It's, worship isn't just playing music. It's the way you think is worship. The way you look after your physical body, which is an amazing creation that God made, that God knitted in the womb of your mother. And, and how your attitude to yourself um, is, is a form of worship. The Bible says, love one another as you love yourself. So the way you think, the way you look after your body, your emotions and your passion. Often in, in religion, it's like, put down, don't be so emotional, don't, be, don't just put all that in a little box. But no, God wants you to be like that. He wants His Spirit to ride in your passion, to ride in your emotions. And, and that's when you'll become radical. That's when you'll be prepared to say, wow, God, you want me to sing that song? And you'll step out of the box and, and you'll do it. And it'll carry this new sound that we're talking about. And you'll carry an authority in your spirit. You'll carry something that nations will one day go, oh, and they will be drawn. And God will lift you up and he'll lift your song. There'll be songs that'll come out of people in the future that nobody knows about these people. They just come out of nowhere and they'll have a, a song in their heart that'll touch the nation. Isn't it an amazing time? I'm, convin I'm convinced of this, that though the church once had the initiative mm. where music was concerned and was the territory was taken away from them yeah. by by secular society mm -hmm. i believe we're living in in a day when god is going to bring to the church mm -hmm. a new sound yeah. that will cause the world to stand back and say how do you do that yeah how do you do that yeah and we're going to teach mm. the world to sing yeah i think that's amazing you know I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to take the people to a song that I, I wrote some time ago. It's called The Sound. And uh, I'd like you to watch this um, video clip uh, called The Sound. And I want you to hear the sound, not just of the song that was written, not just the music, not just the band, not just the lyrics, but I want you to hear the sound within the sound. I want it to grab your spirit because uh, as I wrote it, um, it just flowed prophetically. I remember that when I did write it and I just saw its white horse and I saw Jesus coming back to the earth on this white horse and I began to write the lyrics down and the rest just came. And I heard this sound in heaven. I actually heard electric guitar in the key of D going junk, junk, junk and I thought, my goodness, God's got electric guitars in heaven. And it was just, I was just there praying. It wasn't anything intense. And I wrote this song. And, uh, let this speak to your heart. Hear the sound. And when we come back, we'll meet a great man of God uh, Martin Neal, who drums for Kevin Prosh, who's affected many musicians around the world. So hear the sound. <laughs> <laughs> 